If you would like good, cheap games, be sure to check out G2A.com in the description. Hello everybody, Gaming here and welcome back to another tutorial video on the channel. Today this is going to be a best 1080p 60fps setting and I would like to give a big shout out to Sony Wars as he's the one who basically gave me the idea for this render settings as this is what he uses and it has definitely increased my render time by at least 10% and that's really good so now I can render say a 1080p 60fps video which is 10 minutes in 20 minutes or half an hour which is incredibly good so firstly what you're going to want to do is go into file properties now this is what's going to come up first you're going to want to click on the template and scroll down until you find HD 1080 60i then you'll click on that then select 1920 by 1080 non progressive scan pixel aspect as one then you're going to want to select your frame rate now this is really important if you want 60 fps you're going to want 59.940 double NTSC then you're going to want 32 bit floating point video levels go down full resolution rendering quality is best motion blur as Gaussian uh, just leave that as non unsure what it does start all new projects with these settings go to audio and you can just skip that we don't really need it and then just hit apply okay and I'm trying to think what we want to use for this now okay we'll give you a quick sneak peek so I am doing a if it wants to work so yeah that is quite a big file it's absolutely massive but then this is going to be for my new Black Ops 2 video which I haven't done in a long time so just have it as okay there's a four second long video so firstly when you import it in that's your video that's your audio right click on the video part and click properties now this is really important if you want to make sure you don't get any uh, pixels randomly coming up on the screen or anything like that so you're going to want to reduce interlace flicker and disable resample then what you can do is you can just hit ok and that is basically it for that now what you're going to want to do double click and select that go to file and render as now here's where it gets interesting this is just all the good stuff um, when it loads my computer is going pretty slow it's probably just doing updates to something knowing my computer uh, what you're going to want to do is look for one that says Sony AVC slash MVC. I apologize for the background noise. Outside, you're going to want to select the memory stick SD NTSC um, widescreen. And then the whichever one fits your preference. I usually go with the highest one, so we'll just find mine firstly. Then click Customize Template. You're going to want to first select AVC not memory stick otherwise memory stick just decreases your frame size leave it as high definition 1920 by 1080 if it is not that change it to that profile leave it to high i'm actually losing my voice because of how much recording i'm <clears throat> doing i'll probably go to the shop and get myself a drink um entropy coding put that as c-a-b-a-c frame rate important if you want to get 60 FPS leave it as double NTSC I forgot to mention you, this also works for 1080p 30 FPS or 720p 30 FPS or 60 FPS just mess around with the frame size either make it 1280 by 720 or if you want 30 FPS put it as 29.970 field order leave that as non progressive scan pixel aspect ratio as 1 and put your bit rate or BPS as 15 million then you're gonna just leave that as it is click on audio leave it as AAC the sample rate as 4800 uh, bit rate as 192 and stereo 
Next, go to your system. If you would like to render with your GPU, it does sometimes increase your rendering time. But for me, I just like to leave it as automatic so it just picks whatever it wants. But if you have an AMD graphics card and you check GPU, it'll say what I have. OpenCL is available, or if you have an NVIDIA graphics card, it'll come up with CUDA is available. Uh, so if one of them comes up, you can use it. Next, go to project and video rendering quality, you want that as best. Stereoscopic 3D mode, use project settings. Color space, leave that as default. Then what you're going to want to do is just hit save there. Then OK. And then let's just save it in. We will save it to my desktop. So now we are going to name it as, once it selects, we'll name this as 1080p 60fps test. Then we're going to click render and then we will watch it render. Now I can see that the render is going a lot slower than what it usually does. It will go a lot faster when you're not recording. I think my computer is just having a bad day because I am uploading as well. So, 3, 2, 1, bam. There you go, done. Uh, if you want to view it in the folder, just click open folder. But for now, just click close. Show desktop where it is saved. And you have it here. So, right click, go to properties. And we go to details, we'll see it's 4 seconds long, um, it is 59 frames which is 60 fps, uh, 1920 by 1080 that's basically everything you need to know. Click OK, and here you go, you can view it. And you have pretty much close to raw footage. So if you guys did enjoy the video, don't forget to leave it a like. Don't forget to comment down if you want to see us do any more tutorials on this channel. And don't forget to subscribe to become cool right here. Join the Cobra Nation. I will see your faces later in the next video. But for now, I've been a lot of Gaming. And peace.